Hello everyone, I am Kamo and this is our second lesson in learning Kurdish, the Sorani accent. Okay, so today we are going to talk about the subject pronouns in uh, Sorani accent. Uh, I'm going to talk about the, the pronouns, the subject pronouns, then uh, I'm going to give you some examples about them. Anyway, uh, let's talk about them. Uh, the words in in uh, black are the Kurdish words, the red ones are English ones. Uh, let's talk of, let's uh, start with the singular okay so the first person singular uh, it's called men men uh, but take one note uh, the one uh, the words that in brackets they uh, they uh, uh, they were written in their uh, Kurdish Latin form uh, for example when I write like that you know, out of this bracket, uh, that means I'm uh, I'm writing it in a way that uh, for English speaker or someone who can speak English who wants to learn Kurdish, it it makes it easier. Uh, it shows how it's pronounced. But the ones in brackets in bra in, in those brackets, uh, uh, they show the how it's written in the Kurdish Latin because we ha we have actually we nowadays we use two scripts. We use Latin script and we use the uh, not Arabic uh, script. It's a little bit different than Arabic, but it's a combination of Persian and Arabic script. Um, but it's also different from both, kinda. Um, so yeah, I mean in Kurdish Sorani we mostly use the Persian Arabic Kurdish script, uh, but we. In, for example, in social media, we mostly use the Latin one. Not exactly like that, but like what I'm writing here. Uh, but I wrote it in the Latin form as well to just clarify that in how is it in Kurdish Latin, okay? In Kurdish Latin script. Uh, and I have one other note. Uh, this min, which is written in Latin, this I doesn't pronounce. It's called Bzroke in Kurdish. It doesn't pronounce. Maybe I will explain it in future lessons. Anyway, Min means I. Uh, or it's E. It's, it's also can mean my. Uh, in Kirmanji, uh, it became as. It will become as. Uh, but something else. In, in Hawleri accent, uh, Sometimes they pronounce it like this, Amin, Amin. To, to means you, to, to. Uh, but sometimes in Awlari accent, uh, uh, it's became a to. And sometimes in some other accents, it becomes a to. Okay? But this is the right one, actually. The All of them are right, but this is more right in Slemani accent. Um, we have the third person singular, O, O, O. Basically, O means uh, he, she, it at the same time. Kurdish, it kind of has two grammar, or sometimes you can say Kurdish has three grammars, but why two grammars? Because there is Sorani, or uh, I mean in Sorani, we have uh, we have a grammar, and um, in Kirmanji, which is another Kurdish accent, uh, we have another grammar. In the so in the Kirmanji accent, there is there are gender, there is he she, there is he and she, but actually in Sorani we don't have he she it. We have uh, we have o o means he she it at the same time. So uh, when you have a sentence to uh, make a differentiate uh, to make a differentiation between um, the male or female the gender of the of the person you are talking to it depends on the context of the sentence we will I will give you an example later anyway it's all about singular let's read it one more time men men to to o o Let's talk about plural. Uh, the first person plural, Emma. Emma means we. 
Ewa. Ewa means you, but this you is plural. And we also have the third person plural, which is awan. Awan means they. Okay? So let's just read it one more time. Men, to, o, ema, ewa, awan. But actually, uh, I, I remember when I was a kid, I memorized them in school like that. Men, ema, to, ewa, o, awan. Uh, I was reading like that and say, you know, I was become faster, like min ema to ewa o awan. I think it's easier to remember. Say the singular, then the plural, then, you know, like that. Follow that sequence. Uh, okay, let's take uh, examples. Okay, the um, Kurdish can be tough a little bit. It's uh, There's a lot of suffixes and affixes used in Kurdish language. Uh, so keep in mind, sometimes you say a word changed to something else like that. I will explain it later. But now let's just take examples and I'll explain it. Min darom bo qutabkhana. Again, min darom bo qutabkhana. That means, uh, I go to school. I go to school. Um... We have another sentence. We used men. Now we use to. To uh, the greet. To the greet means you are crying. You are crying. Uh, second one. I use to o because I wanna uh, tell you how can you make a differentiate between he and she. Here you say o kcheki ziraka. Means she is smart. But actually, uh, it means she is a smart girl. Kitch, uh, kitch, kch here. Kitch means girl. Ek uh, means it's a, you know, we add it to make an indefinite. It's like indefinite article. But anyway, by kitch. By, by this word, kcheki, or kitch, we know that this sentence is she, okay? She is. Here, but when we say, odul khosha, odul khosha, we don't, we, here we, do, we, we don't know, is it he or she or it is happy. Odul khosha means he is happy or she is happy or it is happy. Then it depends on the context, on the context of the conversation for example if you talk about uh, like you're pointing to someone okay or you talk about someone you know both both of you know then you understand if if it's he or she or it okay then we have uh, emma the first person plural emma gorani daling emma gorani daling that means we are singing Okay, another one. Ewa zorcheran. Ewa zorcheran means you are so fast. It's plural one. You are all so fast. Okay, then we have awan dagaren. Awan dagaren means they are. They are searching. They are searching. Later on, I will. I mean, not, not in next lesson. In next lesson, I'm going to talk about the Kurdish word order, which is, it will be fun for the linguists. But anyway, um, in, in this lesson, I just wanted to talk about the pronouns, the subject pronouns, and some examples. Uh, well, the Kurdish can be tough in grammar, so even I was bad in Kurdish grammar before. Uh, but I will try to explain as much as I can, because in Kurdish, we, many things will change in sentence. Okay, so it can be tough a little bit for some of, for some of you, but no problem. I mean, everything's gonna be fine if you really want want to learn. Uh, anyway, if you have any question, you can ask uh, uh, in the comments down below, and uh, have a nice time till the next lesson.